Good morning, everybody. Hopefully, over the next few weeks, I'll be able to focus enough to bring you at least 25 new videos. I'm having problems processing these videos because as you do video, you lose a lot of space on your computer. You don't actually want to mix a video and then stick it on a disc. You know what I mean? It's like for some reason I can't erase the steps that I go through to complete a video. Um, the last major produ produced video, I don't want to say production video value type video, the major, last major produced video I did was kicked off YouTube. Um, I made a new variation of the video. I took out the whole uh, soundtrack because I don't think it was the um, visuals that caused that video to be pulled but more so the audio uh, the hook in the song is I know you wanna eat me but I'd rather eat the dog with big ass fleas and it's like you know it's, I was saying some pretty foul stuff in that song but it's a song that I know that you've heard already on my page um there's a lot on my mind. You know, I had a doctor's appointment the other day, and there's never any news that you really want to hear, unless they just gonna give you some money. But I'll tell you in the future. So, um, I've been thinking about a lot of videos, and and all these videos I have done. I mean, there is. 40 gigs worth of data amongst these two cameras that hasn't even been processed yet. I promised myself after I got back from Las Vegas, I was going to wait exactly like a month and then put the rest of the video out from Las Vegas, finish it. And um, I haven't even started remixing the final end of that video. Because people still don't know what happened. They don't know what happened after midnight. I mean, you know, I still haven't even shown my fireworks footage. You know, um, there's just so much on my plate, and I sit around and do a lot of nothing all day. Um, I wish there were some things I could explain to you, but I can't. Those of you who have my phone number that watch this video, call me. And I will explain what I'm not saying right now. Um, FEMA is not wanting to give up any love to those people who, whose houses burst on fire and, and the, uh, I believe eight people lost their lives. And that's ridiculous. Um, in the news, there was a kidnapped little girl. She has been found at, um, the sad part is, you know, apparently she was, um, you know, messed with last night. That really bugged me this morning. That that ticked me off to hear that. But I'm glad she made it home, and hopefully she's young enough to where she can start trying to block this out some kind of way without making real damage to her brain. Um, hmm, what else I want to say? I'm watching the news right now. And they had a school being evacuated. Some little kid was hazed by the little football team, high school football team. Six players are no longer on the team. Um, I don't know. I'm kind of jumbled. I, I came on here this morning thinking I'd have something to say. My son says, what's up with the Wolverine look, Dad? My shit was puffed out the other day. It's looking like Ice Cube. But, um, yeah. Jumbling again. So, here in California, there's a proposition on the books to make marijuana legal. No. Marijuana should not. Oh, wow. They're showing a YouTube fight Ooh, on the news. Oh, yeah. In this town, um, not too far from here, I forget the name, Walnut Creek, maybe Walnut Creek, I don't know. Might not, might not be Walnut Creek, uh, San Mateo, I don't know, one of those towns, what is it? Yeah, 
that's Walnut Creek. Last night, now this is what's sad in America. Last night, or not last night, was it last night? Saturday, whatever. Downtown Walnut Creek at the clubs. You know, it's like a club over and down. You know, in, in California, in certain towns where there's a lot of young people, you might be on one block and see like six clubs. You know, six little bars, six bars and two large clubs or something like that. But in this town, Walnut Creek, there's a little area where they have all the people hang out. There's a lot of bars, like a bar section. There's a couple big clubs. So at one of the clubs, the fight breaks out. It took 15 cops to get down there to start breaking up the fight. Then, two blocks down the street, another fight breaks out, larger than the first fight. No cops got to the second fight. They get on the news and say all 15 of the cops working the shift had to go to one fight. Um, I'm like a, a military-type minded general type brain and I'm never going to tell people I only got 15 police officers working at night time in a city over 100,000 people. That is fucking stupid. The Giants are in the playoffs. Yes, now I get to break out some of my Bay Area playoff. I love the Giants. In the lovely game, the best stadium in the National Baseball League. Don't have one Giants hat up in here. An old Giants jacket. Got an old Giants t shirt somewhere in here. Excuse me, boy. What is this? This is my favorite team of all time. Man. I know you guys know I'm a Raider fan, but this, this, this is my squad. You see that? That's the squad, fools. The squad. That's my team. You people out there caught up in that fantasy shit. Oh, I want LeBron and James. I have LeBron and Kobe. Chris Bosch, yeah, Carmelo, oh yeah, Chauncey Billups there at the point, yeah, I want to need a big man for center, I'll go with that old school Tim Duncan, I remember when Tim Duncan was an old school, so um, fantasy, I can't do fantasy sports, I like a team, uh, when my team don't make the playoffs, I like certain players who I think, you know, this guy's been in the league a long time. He deserved one. Then I root for players. I don't do fantasy. Fantasy league. And when I do, do don't, when I do fantasy, I'm playing quarterback for the Raiders. And I'm winning Super Bowl. That's my fantasy. I'm playing quarterback and I'm winning Super Bowl. That's as far as I go with fantasy. Hook up the PlayStation or the Xbox or the Wii and get my football on. Busted up leaves. Leaves. Busted up legs. <laughs> busted up arms. Toe up neck. Throwing touchdown. Run it. See, number one in the game. Quarterback. And... They say my last name. Touchdown, Raiders. Every time. In real life. Not every time. Well, now I babbled on and said a bunch of nothing about nothing and talked in circles and talked about nothing. Can you make something from nothing? What is the moral of today's video? It hurts me to see that a child was molested last night. You're goddamn right pisses me off that they're gonna let marijuana be legal in America no California we need the money to get out of this uh, shit we in these jets here California shit is so thick shit is so thick in California that um, 
you need bulldozers in your front yard. It's like shoveling snow. That's how thick the shit is in California. Well, I bobbled on long enough. I only got a few minutes left, but I can't run your whole time out. So I'm just going to go ahead and end it by saying I have been tubed today. Because, like I said, I want to put these videos out. I'm sorry. I apologize that I got all this long backlog. You will know what happened in Vegas. <laughs> the ending is bing. You probably won't see it till damn near New Year's. Bing. So, you know I love the, the Warriors. You know I don't do fantasy unless I'm in the... Oh, I also win NBA championships too. Yes, I also play for the Warriors. Yes, when the game comes out, I'm in the game. But I actually won't be in the game so everybody can get me around the world. But, just put me on the game. Create me. I play for the Warriors. I wear number 99. They don't say my name. They say number 99. So, you can put AIX on the back of the uniform. Number 99, point guard. Also, no, no, shooting guard. Now they give you both choice. Shooting guard first. But now, that's, that's, that's the only fantasy I do. And now you know how to create me. You know how to create me. Look, look, do the hair the same way. Normally put glasses on, and the gold tee is normally clean. You know, look, remember face. Do that on the video game, and then you can enjoy playing as me without any further cost. But now listen, I babbled on and said a bunch of nothing. Thank you, YouTube, for your time. I just don't know what to say. But you guys will get a large load of videos next week. All of these videos have been edited, directed, and produced. Soundtrack the whole shebang. Hopefully... By Friday, I will have at least 20 to 25 new videos up, all produced. All. And I will, you know, I will not put them on Broke Man Studio. A lot of them are music videos. And I'm not going to put them on Broke Man Studio. Because these videos I did is, well, I just, I, I do a lot of eBay now. I buy stuff off eBay. I'll do a video with it, a music video. And I sell it. I'm using the equipment and I'm selling it. So a lot of people have caught on and bought my shit. Not cheap. Because, you know, you download the video and you see your piece of music equipment right there. This, this man, he did it with this, man. This is what the video was in. This, this was in that Man, I got the one from the video. Man, I got the one. And they love that. You got to get your notch, man. Find something. I haven't worked in like five or six years of shit like that. Some fucked up shit, man. Since they called nigga at the job and shit. You know, I even worked since then. My brain is not the same no more. I don't function like that. I don't get out like that in the workplace no more. Somebody says something negative to me, to me now, I'm not going to be able to walk away like I did then. I flipped the fuck out. The fuck, motherfucker? You know, it's like, it reminds me of like when I was a kid. I first moved up here and I got a job uh, with a carpenter. And, you know, learning carpentry when you first meet, you know, meet and run into a new situation is the greatest thing in life because, you know, I needed that coming from the city. So I became comfortable with the crew. And I remember one time the guy says, get up there on your knees, man, and get that stuff off the porch. I went the fuck off. Because I, I wasn't expecting that from this motherfucker. Get up there, climb up there on your knees, man, and get that shit off the porch. What? The thing is, we had just put in the porch. He didn't want us to scuff the porch going up there. Or me. I went the fuck off. If I, I found out that's disrespectful. Motherfucker, you don't tell me you're on my fucking knees and get shit. Fuck you. Fuck this job. Shove it. You learn from mistakes. And what have you learned from this video? Nothing. You learn people don't take shit well when they talk shit too, when they don't understand how people speak. Hopefully you learn that. But other than that, I guess I have been too. I did fuck off your whole 15 minutes. I love you. Bye.